Well, state lawmakers are up against a midnight deadline to vote on about 75 different bills or else they're going to fail to move forward. Now, bills related to criminal justice, the marriage age, and voting rights are among just a few of those that are on the chopping block. Politics Now co-host Patrick Walker is live in Carson City tonight. And Patrick, you've been really busy tracking a number of those bills. Well, Denise, it has been quite a long day. We're talking about lawmakers uh, in committee hearings since 7 o'clock this morning, but we have seen a number of bills thus far survive the deadline. Let's talk about some of them. Many of those more high-profile bills that made it out were in the Senate Judiciary Committee. Republicans breaking from Democrats on three bills during that session, but they were unable to vote the measures down. Assembly Bill 139 would set the marriage age at 18 and not allow parents or a judge to approve marriages for those under 18. Assembly Bill 139. 83 would prohibit the use of privately run prisons and assembly bill 431 would allow voting rights to be stored to restored to convicted felons upon release from custody that bill drawing the most debates when we say that they paid their debt to society one of those debts was the loss of of the right to vote and uh, so to restore to someone what they have deprived for permanently from another uh, I think just goes too far, so I'm in. That's not what this bill provides for. It provides for individuals who are back in our society, who have paid their debt because they served a prison sentence, or they've been discharged from probation, or they've been discharged from parole. And I think a lot of the individuals that you mentioned who would pose a danger to our communities are going to find themselves incarcerated. A bill that did not make the deadline, Assembly Bill 411, would have made uh, decriminalized rather most traffic violations. Instead, misdemeanors like broken taillights and speeding would become civil violations, taking potential jail time off the table. So now the focus shifts to money with now just 18 days left in the session. We will soon be seeing those final budget bills that are introduced. The budget for the next two years, by the way, uh, just north of $8.8 .8 $8 billion. Denise. Patrick, I know you've been uh, tracking quite a few bills. Uh, there was a big gun bill that was on the line today. Any idea of what happened with that? Yeah, that was Assembly Bill uh, 291, sponsored by Assemblywoman Sandra Harrigy. And uh, that would have banned bump stocks and made a number of other changes related to uh, specific gun laws. That bill, I'm told, was facing a number of changes behind the scenes. A lot of uh, what happens during the legislative, pro legislative process, there were concerns that would not be heard at all today. In fact, it was not heard, but it was granted a, a waiver, so a last-second reprieve, so it can be amended and heard all the way up through the end of the session here in just over two weeks. All right, Patrick Walker, thanks.